Okay, guys, welcome back. How's your Frenchman here? Um, I'm about to start the um, Krug A, and I've gone through the instructions and I've marked off all the little sub assemblies, and then I came to this one. Yes, this one was a lot of fun. Now, at first, when I got to here, I've gone, oh, they've done like Tamiya and Rebel and all the rest of them. They've done like normal, like sub assemblies. But then, no, got to that one, and no. And then I got to this page here. Now, this page here stuck me for a little while because I was looking for little arrows. And like here, you've got this sub assembly here of the shovel and the holder. Oh, hang on. Pink Floyd's just come on. Hang on, guys. All right, back again. Sorry, guys. Uh, I like listening to Pink Floyd while I'm building, and I've got it on softly in the background. I'm listening to the, the movie, The Wall, and I really quite like that mu uh, music, and it's the only musical I like. Um, all right, back to here. Now, now that's another sub-assembly with a little arrow going to the back here. That's great, right? right? Then I was looking for these sub-assemblies here, and you know, going, where are the arrows? Then I realized they've got DD and DD down here and EE, EE. So you've got three types of different sub assemblies notifications. So just be aware of it. It's um, boggled me for a little while this step, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee and then I'm going to go through. parts and I'm going to lead them and um, so I can see what things are and what not so I'll get done fun that I'll get that done first and um, like I said make a cup of coffee so make yourselves a cup of coffee and um, I'll get started okay guys I hope you guys have got your coffees I got mine uh, about half an hour has gone by Jeez. Now, part one, really quite simple, put the guards on, and not that I'm ever going to take this model to a show or anything like that, but I watch Nigel, and um, injected pins are his worst nightmare, he hates them, and I must admit I hate them too, so I'm just going to Go around and get the highlights off as much as possible. So that's what I'm doing right now. Right. No, I haven't tested fitted these yet. Be cut off. Whoops. This is supposed to be cut off too. Hang on. I'll have a look. Okay, okay, they're locating pins. Alright, so that's alright. I'm going to cut them off. Now I've cleaned up the parts. Cleaned up the parts. And these go on. Locate a pin in the front, click, click, and I have to take the last one off because it wouldn't click in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply some 
Ebu Tamiya cement, the thick ship, because I like that stuff when I'm using it on large areas. I hope I've still got some knife, and the ones I use, contactor. Locking pin. Right, thank you. There we go. And I'll shove some extra thin as well. I'm going to use contactor on the other side. I'll get back to you guys once I get the other side on and we'll talk about what's next and um, that's part one completed we're on a mission we're moving all right just it's gonna be a good size eh? like you know like that's a good size all right let's get on to part two Part two, cogs, wheels, and some little brackety things. All right, let's get on to it. E2, E, where we need E, E, K, K. All right, let's do it. Okay guys, I've been out for a little while now, my coffee's gone cold, but it pink floors paid played over already once already, and um, I'm having way a lot of fun with the suspension, what I'm doing right now is making these parts here, I've made these parts, and um, all these parts here have been cut and ready, just making the last of these, and I'm having a lot of fun. A little bit of now I always when I build models for some reason I go with a Revell contactor and I you know what I put the part on Right. Right, and 
then I hit it with a little bit of extra thin and leave it alone and repeat. Okay, last one. Far out the mat master. Mat, the mat master. Okay, guys, I'm nearly out of uh, storage on my my tablet. I had to put these on without filming. Now I'm actually impressed about the detail at the bottom of this. Um, it's pretty damn good. Now, I'll finish part two of the the build, and I'm going to leave it at that. Um, it's going to be a short video, but I'm hoping that I can rec get it um, edited. Yeah, all done on a tablet. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for um, watching.